Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, you've got 26 days until May and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSEs. This lesson, exam timetables. You need to get an exam timetable. Your school will probably produce an exam timetable for you and you need to make sure you get a hold of that. Normally they produce an individual one for each person. They may already have done this, so look for it if you don't know where it is. But you need that. It's really crucially important that you get that. If your school has already given out exam timetables, but you're not sure where yours is, then you can get another copy printed off. You need to speak to your form tutor or speak to the school's exams officer, and they should be able to produce another one for you. If the school hasn't given them out yet, they probably will be doing very soon. So when you get it, make sure you put it somewhere safe. Make sure it gets home. You are going to need it. The first thing you need to do when you get that exam timetable is check that you're entered for all the things you think you should be entered for. You really need to check this carefully. There might be 100 to 200 people in your year group at school, maybe even more at some really big schools, and everyone's going to be doing different exams. It is possible to make mistakes. It's possible to correct them now. That might not be possible on the morning of the exam. So make absolutely certain that you are entered for everything you should be and nothing that you shouldn't be. Double check with your subject teachers, they'll know for sure. When you get that exam timetable, you need to make a copy so that you've got two of them. You're going to stick one copy up on the wall in your room, so that as you're getting ready in the morning, you are absolutely certain which exams you've got that day. And so that as it's leading up to the exams, you know which one's coming first, which one's coming last, which ones you need to be preparing for. You're going to take your other copy and stick it somewhere where the rest of your family can see it. Next to the front door, on the fridge, doesn't matter where, but somewhere where your parents and any brothers and sisters which you have are going to be having a look at it as well, so that they know which exams you've got coming up as well. Now, it might not be necessary that they know that, but it's probably going to be helpful that they're aware of what's coming up and when. They're checking that you've got all your stuff as well. It's a little thing, but it's a good way to get them involved and it increases the chances that you are going to be well prepared for those exams when they come up. If you've got a separate wall calendar or a calendar app which you use, I suggest you copy the dates into that as well. It's a small thing, but it makes you better organized and increases the chances that you are going to be ready for those exams when you need to be. I hope that video really helped you. If it did, it really helps my channel when you like, subscribe and share these videos. Let people know I'm going to succeed in my GCSE. All the links and info for this video are in the description and please let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter at MrThorntonUK or use the hashtag SucceedInMyGCSE. There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you might find useful. You can click my picture just here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the Snap Quiz website and app, and you can click just here to get my revision guides. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.